Welcome to Chocolate for Breakfast. This is the second part of my, um, <laughs> my camera cut out, actually. There's, there's another 10 minutes to come. Um, I'll try and keep that down, actually. Um, just as I was getting to the crucial thing of what you can actually do to calm the pancreas down. Um, uh, and the reason, one of the other reasons that I actually eat chocolate for breakfast, not only because that was um, a solution for me, uh, through all the things that I'd read and studied, um, one of the things that I felt that I was allowed to eat and made me feel good, um, chocolate, and I'm, again, I insist upon the fact that we're talking about dark chocolate that's 70% cocoa, a minimum of, um, and, you know, if you can take, if your palate can take it, you know, go for the 85%, go for the 99%. There is very little sugar in dark chocolate. It's so minimal. It's practically non-existent. Um, it always kind of makes me smile when I hear people say, oh, can't eat chocolate, it's really fattening. Yeah, the milk stuff is really fattening, okay, because it's full of sugar and it's full of milk, and we'll be discussing milk at one point. Um, the other advantage of chocolate um, is that it's full of fiber. The fiber in the chocolate actually breaks down the sugar. So already we've got a minimum am amount of sugar and it's broken down uh, in addition by the fiber that's in the chocolate. I like fiber. And um, chocolate, again, dark chocolate is full of vitamins and minerals and oligoelements and flavonoids. It's full of a lot of really, really good stuff. And I do tend to go for the organic. Uh, I find basically actually that the organic tastes better. It's kind of got a fruitier taste, which is nice. Huh? Again, as I said in the first part of the video, you know, food was made to taste nice for a reason. It's so that we eat it. Um, whoever created the universe and everything that's around us, um, uh, she, <laughs> um, that was deliberate, she uh, made food so that we would actually eat it. Oh. Um, and the effect of chocolate is, one of the effects of chocolate is, it's also got magnesium in it by the way, so if you're feeling down, the magnesium, the high magnesium content is actually going to help with that also, it's going to help with your sleeping patterns. Um, but one of the properties of dark chocolate is that it actually calms the pancreas down. And um, what I basically did, especially at the outset, um, and I'm a little bit lost because I don't know whether I've actually said this in the first part of the video or, or, or whether it was in the part that got cut. So if, if I'm repeating myself, I do apologize. Um, uh, and I forgot what I was going to say. Um, where was I talking about the chocolate, what I did? Yeah, if you um, are in the habit of eating in such a way that your body is producing too much insulin, it might take you some time for that reaction to calm down, okay? And um, it can take a few days can take a few weeks, it might even take a couple of months depending at which stage you're at. And again, please bear in mind that your body can heal from this. Okay, there are some illnesses that people have and their bodies can't heal from them in, the, in itself. Their bodies can't do that. Um, this is, a, is a, a case of, and this is very good news for us, this is a case of we can actually heal this we can correct it and stop it um i have actually got to the stage now where i can have a cake and it has absolutely no effect on me whatsoever um my body is producing a very low amount of insulin i eat in a way that makes my body i, I on a daily basis i will eat um i have like basic principles that i tend to stick to um, but I also allow, I will eat the cream cake, you know, 
Um, if I go to somebody's house and they've made a nice cake for tea, if I go around for a, a cup of tea and they've made a nice cake, I'm not going to say no. That would, again, as I said in a previous video, that would be kind of rude. If somebody's taken the trouble to make something, then, you know, it's nice actually to eat it. And I will also be discussing ways of getting around when you go to, um, if it's just a one-off dinner, it's easy. You can just eat it and that's it. Um, if you're staying with people, it's more complicated because they're maybe taking care of the cooking and you maybe stay them, with them for a week. I know this has happened to me and I'll discuss ways of getting around that. Um, what I did do while I was going through this process of however long it took for my pancreas to calm down and start functioning normally again, I, you know, I have two kids. Um, they eat biscuits occasionally when I allow them to do so. They also eat dark chocolate, by the way. Um, I get them to eat nuts and things like that. Um, the, and they, they very much enjoy that. Um, <clears throat> uh, but there are the packets of biscuits. The packets of biscuits are there. I, I kind of do consider in a sense that it's obligatory to have biscuits in the house when you have children. Um, and if, you know, if they invite a friend round, then you want to have something to offer as well to the friend. And not everybody follows the diet of eat dark chocolate and nuts. Uh, um, and a lot of kids would actually refuse that at first. Um, and again, that's something else I'll be talking about. Um, what I did do, and what I still do in fact, just to be sure, just in case, um, though actually that's never happened, but I have maybe 10 bars of chocolate, dark chocolate in the cupboard right next to the biscuits. And what I would do when I got that desire for sugary food, that sense of I have to eat something, I'm feeling shitty, I want to eat, you know, some biscuits. And I would go into the larder and instead of putting my hand on the biscuit packet, I would take the bar of chocolate, one of the bars of chocolate that was just next to them. And I would happily eat four or five squares if necessary. Okay, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I am actually the living proof that eating loads of chocolate is not that bad for you. Okay, there's been studies out that said, you know, oh, maybe it's not good for your digestion. And um, in France, they have a popular opinion that if you eat too much chocolate, they have, you have what they call an une crise de foie, a liver crisis. Well, I'm sorry, actually, the liver crisis is caused by the alcohol people are drinking during meals, um, uh, the, 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 the sugary content of maybe the desserts and not actually to do with the cocoa that they've, uh, consumed um, and so yeah this is my solution and maybe that's something that you could actually try out if you wanted to do that so um, maybe you find something else that's equally as good as chocolate that would calm you down calm down the, the pancreatic reaction. And it's fairly simple. If you eat the thing and you still have an hour later the desire for sugar, then it's very logical what you've eaten isn't helping. So try something else. And again, I really do insist upon the fact that I'm not telling anybody what to do here. Um, it, it's to take or to leave as you wish. I'm just sharing my experience and what I've concluded from the things that I've studied. Um, so there you go. If you want to get in touch, please do. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to have your feedback. Um, if you have any questions, I'm going to put my email address underneath the video. So, you know, please do get in touch if, you, if you're worried about this or you're having a problem and you want to, to have somebody to help you out, then, you know, please get in touch with me. Um, and, um, you know, join the Facebook group. Lots of fun things going on there. And there's a Facebook page and I'm on Google Plus and I'm on Twitter and obviously on YouTube because you're watching the video right now. Um, so please feel free to get in touch. You'd be most welcome. 
okay? And I'm happy to help. I'm really happy to help. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. The first and the second part of uh, of the video about emotional eating. Um, and uh, well, I hope to hear from you and I'll be speaking to you soon. And here's to your very good health. Bye bye. Sorry, my cat's fighting me now. <laughs> she always has to do something. Okay, bye bye.